Hey there everyone, this is a magical experience. Something that we've never done before. I'm currently walking on the gangway to step on board a brand new ship, a brand new experience, a brand new adventure, unlike any we've ever done before. Moments in front of me, we've got the Independence of the Seas, my very first Royal Caribbean cruise, and I cannot wait to share the whole thing with you. Never done this before. Every other ship has been Disney. This is Royal Caribbean for the very first time. Here we go. Woo! All right, we made it. A fantastic start to it already. We're gonna go and have a magical adventure. It's unlike any we've done before, I'm sure. Look at where we are. We just entered on deck four. I, again, I'm gonna be learning this ship as we go together. I'm so excited for all the fun that we have in store. Wow, just look at this. The promenade, it's early in the morning. It's 11.25 in the morning. So I'm really excited to explore this ship. Let's do it. Here's that promenade from deck five here. I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. I'm already having a good time. I know it's different. It's exciting. It's new, but I, I'm already having a good, you know how much I love sailing and I can't wait for this adventure. It has already begun. Welcome to it. There are some of the rooms up above looking into the promenade. This is the promenade right here. This is where we're going to walk day and night. Oh, I love the music already so much. You can hear they've got Sorrento's pizza right there there's a lot of areas to sit down and relax soda areas there's a bridge on top I'm guessing that's where some of the team members will be more seating areas it just goes on and on such an amazing place wow this is so so cool people are already sitting down relaxing grabbing a drink we got art over here love the park west little doggy right there and then casino royale that's where we find the casino down there yeah we'll check it out for sure vintages over here very excited Got the uh, Solera Beauty here. Ooh, and they're, uh, they're doing the beverage package. If you want to purchase the beverage package, it's available. How are you? Oh gosh, this I'm already having fun. You hear the music? So these rooms, my understanding is, will actually have a view into the promenade here, which is so cool. Ooh, the little espresso bar, coffee bar. Well, 100% be stopping by there for sure. And you got sugar. Ooh, yum. Sugar Beach. Yum, we gotta check that out. It's just starting to open up because we are some of the first guests on board this ship. Here's next cruise. If you love it so much, want another one? You get your discounted one. Oh, I love it so much. Here's a view of our beautiful Independence of the Seas. You can see we're on deck six right now. There's an escape room. There's lounges. There's a golf course. There's so much to do and see. We're starting the time off just exploring. We're out here on deck 11. Oh, that's right. They have the lanyards here. Oh, cool. Oh, I know. We're almost right there. We got GoPro stuff. We got the GoPro Hero 10 and 9 available for sale and the lanyards. I love the lanyards. Today only $8.69 for these guys. Wow. Oh my gosh, it, it's different. It is different from Disney, but it is magical. And they've even got ice cream available. Oh my gosh, you can grab your ice cream to start off your day. I'm excited already. Oh, yum. Looks delicious. Thank you very much. Yum. Our first Royal Caribbean cruise has officially started. <laughs> what happened to you? Got to admit, that's delicious ice cream to start it off. You know, we got to start off with the ice cream. We, we had to do it. Here's the Splash Away Bay Area for kids. Gotta love this. And then we make our way here. This is the adults only section where you can find a lot of different uh, areas for adults to sit back and relax. And our look at this uh, splash area for kids. We make our way up to deck 12 here. You can see, and there's the Independence of the Seas logo. Wow. This is incredible. Headed towards the back now. There's the fueling tanker. We can actually already see the Disney dream over there. I know we're thinking of it, but we're having a great time here. Independence of the Seas. There's a um, there's a landing platform for SpaceX, which I really want to see, which is further out there. But we're just kind of exploring the ship for now. Having a great time. Here's the outside of Johnny Rockets, one of the extra uh, restaurants that you can find on board. Here's the teen club called the living room right here. And then we've got the arcade room right here, which is actually a lot larger than you'd think. It's a pretty big arcade here. I really do like it. It just keeps going on and on. It's, uh, you know, you have to pay money, of course, for these arcade games, but it sure is nice to have it. Ooh, Ghostbusters. Never seen that game before. It will play a little bit here and there. It's only a three night cruise, so we gotta, you know, prioritize the super fun things that we really wanna do. Already having a great time, and I'm really glad you're one of the first on board. You definitely wanna have an early check in, you know, it's very important. This Explorers Club right here looks like this is the six to eight year old club. So two clubs we've already seen for kids. We're not gonna do like a full ship tour because it's such a short one. It's our first Royal, so we're just gonna kind of take it all in. But yeah, we're seeing a lot already. And there's another one over here called the Voyagers Club for nine to 11 years old. 
That's very nice. Sports court, deck 13, flow rider, perfect storm. We're gonna go check this out right now. I was told this is the place to be. It's not working right now because they are gonna be opening it up later. But look at this. We're gonna be doing surfing right here on the sports deck. I love it. That is so, so cool. You can see one of the kids area is open right now in the perfect storm. Water slides probably open up in I think two hours. I think everything around here opens up in about two hours for us all to use. This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. Oh, it looks so great. We've got our basketball court right here and the rock climbing wall. We're gonna be trying that rock climbing wall for sure. I haven't uh, done any rock climbing in a long, long time. And I'm so looking forward to it. Here's the Diamond Lounge, so the Diamond Club members can head up there. I think that's a level tier for the number of cruises you've done. Probably. Here's the main pool area right there. You can see they've got the hot tubs right down there. Love that. The main pool there. Wait, is that three hot tubs I'm counting? There's a TV right up there, larger than life. The Sky Lounge over there, and then the pool bar below. And then there's like, see like the tiered decks where you can sit back and relax and like people watch. That is very cool. I think this is deck 13 and you can see we've got a pretty good view of that really amazing overlooking hot tub right there. Across the way there's another one as well. We've also got Independence Dunes right up there. We can go up and play golf. And then right down here, this is the adults only area. Wow, it's over. In, it's closer to the front of the ship. So it's very similar to what we've seen with some of the Disney ships. But look at this bridge that goes over there. Some of the statues here. You have to be 16 and older to, uh, to participate. They say adults 16 and over. That's uh, good to know, good to know right there. Here's Independence Dunes right here where we can play mini golf, we probably will, on board. This beautiful Independence of the Seas. Look at that right there. You know I love golf and <laughs> experiencing all this. This is very cool. Now I gotta, I think this is included with the price of your cruise, pretty sure it is. So we will uh, we'll be giving this a try for sure. And then you got a lot of sitting and sunbathing areas right over there, see that right there? You got the little pods we can sit back, relax inside or in the shade right over here. Love it. So I'm using the app now and I'm learning that you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi to make reservations for certain things. Not everything, but certain things. There's the Ice Spectacular Freeze Frame, which happens only two times during our cruise. We got reservations for tonight just because we're one of the first on board. It's not even 12 o'clock yet. And we're able to, to book it and just make that reservation, no additional cost, and see the show tonight. So it's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be spectacular. We're going through looking at the daily planner for every single day to decide what we wanna do, add it to our calendar, similar to Disney, and, uh, and see what we wanna try. Check out right between the little windows there, you can see the Disney Dream over there, which of course we're thinking of, but we're on board the Independence and already having a great time. Here it is, one of the two adult only overhang hot tubs where you actually are looking over the edge of the ship here as you make your way. You know we'll be spending a lot of time in these fantastic hot tubs. It's only one of two on each side of the Independence of the Seas. Wow. Here's Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade where you can go and enjoy some delicious food and beverages. And the casino is just beyond. We're down here on deck four, I believe it is, for our muster. And checking out some of the kind of private lounges all over. I mean, you cannot go all over the place and uh, and not see one of these amazing lounges. And there's even more down there. Art. Ooh, I love that art. Wow. All right, we're now making our way to the bow from, I've already lost, one of these stairs here. I think I'm on deck four or five, somewhere like that. We're on the deck with these things. That's where we are. And uh, we're making our way towards the front of the ship bow right now. And an amazing platform over there, which is actually used for um, the SpaceX landing. I forgot the name of it though. It's like the, do you still love me? Of course I do. The really funny names by Elon Musk. It's, I, I wanna see it. Gotta tell you, this is amazing. There's the bridge right up there, right? So this is the bridge and this is the helipad where you can take the helicopter on and off if God forbid there's any kind of emergency, anyone has to be airlifted. But check a look right there, there's the dream. Here we're here at Port Canaveral and there's the little ship that's used for the landing of the SpaceX uh, rocket right over there. That is just so, so cool. I love it, I love it, that's amazing. Gotta tell you, an amazing experience to be right over the bow. I don't think the other ships that I've been on have allowed you to be this close to the absolute front. I don't think we're allowed to stand on that white section right there, and I'm on the green area, so I don't know, but I'm, I'm standing here. But you can see, we're, we're right over the bow of the ship, which is really incredible. And you got a nice seating area for when it's sailing away, you wanna kinda get a good view, of course, we'll be here when we're at sea. Not many times at sea, we're gonna do only a three-nighter, but still, there's the bridge right there with all the uh, the uh, important folks who are making the ship run 
all around us and there's Port Canaveral. Beautiful, beautiful spot. It's buffet time. We're going to a new spot called Windjammer. It's my very first time. Let's do it together. Now we're walking to Casino Royale. You can see some of the table games right here. I do not know how to play half of them, but that's okay. That's that blackjack. I know how to play poker and blackjack. Maybe we'll try it, but then the slots are, are easier. I gotta get my poker face. Poker glasses, got the whole thing going. Hey, that's the craps table over there. That's cool. Wow, slots right there. There's virtual ones and the real ones. More table games. And I do not believe right now smoking is allowed. That's my understanding. I might not be right. Things change. But yeah, my understanding is uh, smoking is not allowed right now. You've got a Casino Royale Bond slot machine right there. And more of these over here. Really cool. We're going back to Playmakers now. Making our way towards the buffet. Here we are at Windjammers now, and that's pretty cool. So this is the buffet. Think of this like Cabanas on a Disney cruise, but it's, uh, I think it's larger and probably different food. So I'm looking forward to it. Lunch 11.30 to 4 p.m. Here's Giovanni's, which is an Italian restaurant, my understanding, and you also have Chop House over there. Two different sides of Windjammers here. You can see it's super similar to uh, what you see on the Disney Cruise Line with Cabanas. That's, uh, that's pretty great. I'm gonna try some food here. Let you know how it is and how it compares to other cruise food we've had. Here's the dessert sections right off there. They've got the carving section over there, chips, fajita section, bread service, pasta. Wow, that looks good. Burgers, hot dog, chicken. You can make your own burger, customize it. Is that cheese covered chips over there? Looks like it. There's just so, so much. Oh, that looks really good and really big. Here's broccoli over there. There's some mussels, seafood. Wow, this all looks so, so good. I don't know what to uh, choose first. And <laughs> look at this cake. Are you looking? Wait a second. I got to show you the size of this cake right here. Here's the puddings and all that. Hey, how are you? And they welcome aboard Independence of the Seas. <laughs> That's a gigantic cake. We got to try a piece of cake for sure. Wow. I love it all. I don't know what to try first, but we'll try some. Wow. Looks delicious. No, thank you very much. So they serve you, similar to what Disney's doing right now, they will serve you the different items that you want. Got some strip right there, strip steak, and I got a little bit of the Cajun the potatoes really looks good Let's keep walking see what else they have we've got honey chicken strip steak with a little bit of horseradish in there we've got some um uh, cantaloupe there the cajun uh, potato wedges and some salami first course for lunch let's give it a try here at windjammers for the very first time never had windjammers before very excited first bite here at windjammers everything was was pretty good the chicken was good everything else was, was pretty good nothing outstanding amazing yet nothing that's like blown me away as of yet We've still got, this is the very first buffet, so no problems there. I'm actually gonna go back for a little bit more, try the chips and salsa, maybe some cake, some dessert items, and uh, we got our full food service tonight, but we're not even close to that. We got some pool time, and there's so much to do in the uh, hours ahead. But no snack here at Windjammers. Do what I think of round two. Of course, we've got these chips right here with the chili con carne. It's a little bit of cheese on top. We've also got mashed potatoes, some of the pasta here, and the spicy chicken there. We're gonna try it all, let you know what I think. I was so excited for dessert, I started digging in without telling you. This is the coconut cream pie. I haven't tried that one yet. There's a blueberry um, kind of cream yogurt thing. Looks really good. Got the apple walnut, which is really good, and had the cream puff already, which was okay. So this, so far, this one, this apple walnut one, is the best by far. Let me try all three and let you know. Overall, a good meal to uh, start our cruise here and the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas. Favorite was probably one of the, the mashed potatoes, surprisingly. It was one of my favorite uh, entree items. The other food was okay, not amazing. The desserts were pretty good. Um, the maple apple one was good. Cream puff was good. Nothing really blew me away with this meal. Again, this is Windjammer, right? This is the buffet. We haven't made it to the main dining yet, but we'll see when we get there. Maybe food will be different, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to just have a good time and have fun. I love the food. We'll keep ranking the food, of course. But uh, now we're gonna see if the rooms are ready and possibly go and uh, go on the surf wave rider, surfing, pool time. Very good idea to get here earlier. It's 105 right now. Line's pretty long for wind jammers. Yeah, lunch was good. Thank you again. You can see there again, team team members all over the place. But the line is a lot longer now. So earlier better. I'm learning. We're gonna go check to see if our room's ready. Rooms open at 2 p.m. So the doors stay closed until uh, we're ready to go. Now we're gonna go check out other parts of the ship until that point, and then we'll uh, maybe do some pool time. Here on deck three, that's the dining room right back there. And now we're checking out more of the art gallery here, which is pretty unique. Here it is, some amazing looking art, kind of the three-dimensional. Some of them it looks like they're almost glowing with the different drinks you have here. <laughs> Here's the money. That's pretty cool. There's some amazing pieces of art they have here. I love it. And then over here we got Studio B, which looks like where you get your photos uh, processed, photos you took on board for those very special photo pa photo I probably said photo pass photo opportunities. And then over there we have the Studio B Center Ice, 
which is where we're gonna see the ice show performance tonight, which is gonna be great. And I heard that there is laser tag in there. I'm not sure if it's currently going because of all the changes that we have, but it's, uh, it's pretty great that they have the ice rink though. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I wanna note that they do have the GoPros available. So if you don't have your own, you can buy them here. That's so smart. That's, that's really smart. The Studio B the way ice rink looks like it's closed right now, but it is um, something we'll see later. So I recommend bringing GoPro on a cruise, but um, if you forgot it, you can buy them on board. It's nice. Now on deck 14 here on the Independence of the Seas, this is called the Viking Lounge. I'm learning disco ball up in the air. Nice chairs, great, great view of the uh, ship right here. Beautiful, look at this. You're looking over the Splash Away Bay area. You can sit back and relax here. Look at that. An unbelievable view of this incredible ship and this wonderful lounge. I love it all. Probably gonna spend some more time up here, especially on like longer cruises. It'd be perfect. Wow. You can see behind me, guests are currently playing ping pong. We're on our way walking around to the flow rider area. The slides up there, we're not changed for it yet. And rock climbing. Still gonna maybe, we have the swimsuit stuff in the back, right? I've learned my lesson from past cruises, but still might wait for the rooms to open up in like 50 minutes for us to uh, change and then try it. There's the flow rider. We just saw a wipe out there. Woo! That was awesome. Definitely want to try it coming up. Looks super cool and super intense. I'm going to try on my stomach first once we uh, sign the waivers and everything. But yeah, that's awesome. Signed the waiver and got a wristband here, which indicates that I'm able to ride the flow rider a little bit later when we change into our bathing suit. Not that crowded, so we're probably gonna try for it today. It's definitely a very powerful uh, stream of water there at uh, Wave Rider. So every experience level was uh, was having some level of difficulty riding on the Wave Rider. Definitely excited to try it. Coming up later, we'll relax by the pool for a few minutes, maybe get some ice cream, and uh, then uh, make our way to our room. Walking down the hallway now, making our way to our veranda room, port side of the ship. Very excited to see this. You can see some people do decorate their stateroom doors, but not everyone. We're making our way. You can see a lot of luggage. It's already made their way to the rooms up ahead of us. We're gonna check this out. I love the hallways here. They really are a nicely decorated, pretty wide, lots of space, and nice artwork on both sides. Here comes our room. Here's our stateroom 7604. Wow. Now, like Disney, they put them here for you. If it's opened, you know, you'll know because you'll know. But it's not open, so you're good to go. We're gonna open it up, Let's check out our room. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for. Stateroom 7604 as we make our way in here. Check this out. This is a great looking room. Very unique looking room. It's unlike other staterooms I've been on because I've only ever been on a Disney cruise. I'm gonna take you around, show you this entire stateroom so you get an idea of it. This is a veranda view stateroom on the Independence of the Seas. Let's do it together. Okay, let's start this stateroom tour. Uh, you have your continental, continental breakfast right there available for your room. $7.95 per room as just a delivery fee. Otherwise, it's complimentary. Love that door as you make your way in. To your left is the bathroom, single bathroom. To your right, we've got the cabinet right here for storing your belongings. It's actually a relatively large cabinet area. Check this out. Plenty of space right here, and I actually fit. Look at that. It's huge. It's an enormous closet right here. Life jackets right down there. Great. You got a little luggage holder area. Love that. I'm going to hang up some of my uh, belongings right up there so we're all set to go. You got your safe right here, some shelves there, and of course, more hanging space over here. And then, uh, not sure what that is. Another little hanging space right there. They open up all the way, which is really nice. See how it's like flush against the wall there so it's not like swinging in your face? That I like. The bathroom is unique. Unlike other cruise ship bathrooms we've seen before, it's just the single, just the one. We've got a really nice floor right there. Love that. Here's your single sink with counter. You've got three mirrors. One, two, and three. <laughs> Going all the way around. Here's your glasses right here for some waters or drinks. Bath soap, love those. You got some with you, some towels here. Oh, there's a, there's a towel right there. Little washcloths as well. Toilet here. We've seen these before. And this is the part that's really interesting. This shower right here. Oh, it opens like that. Sliding door and a circular shower that actually has very little of a, of a kind of height here. So you can just walk in very easily. No huge step, which I really appreciate. As you can see, I am six foot, right? So I'm six feet tall. There is a ton, I mean a ton of space above me here. This is, this is by far the tallest shower I've ever been in. And it closes up just like that here. You're in there with me, just like that. See that? 
ton, I mean, more space than I was expecting. Honestly, I was expecting a lot less space here. As we make our way out, you can see a little trash can right down there, an area for tissues. Thermostat right over here. We have it nice and cool, not super cold, but nice and cool. Areas to turn off the lights do not require a key card. That's nice to know. Here's your mirror right here. Got to appreciate that little desk and chair right down there. Those are nice. Here's the door that would connect you to another room. Then you've got your phone, your bed here that can actually separate into two, but it's just us. So we've got our one bed here with the Royal Caribbean sheets right there. Some of our you know paperwork there to welcome us aboard. Lights there. I'm guessing you have some plugs over here. Yeah, this is where you have your plugs. This is our main kind of entertainment kiosk right here. You've got your announcement channel, right? So you can actually listen to the announcements as they're happening at different volumes here, right? So you'll be able to hear it. Some plugs there, a couple more plugs there. And then they have some uh, sanitizing wipes, it looks like, right here, along with some hand sanitizer, which they give you. That's very nice. Here's your cruise compass, which tells you what's happening on each day. This is great. I love the fact that, you, thank you, Royal Caribbean, for having a paper version, okay? I gotta give you a shout out right now. You've got a paper version. It's got at least some of the activities, some of the special ones that are happening throughout the ship. I know that everybody's using the app these days, but not everyone has their phone at all times. Thank you for giving us these, I love it. Extra space here with these drawers where we're able to store our belongings. I'm guessing there's a fridge in there. Yes, there is a little bit of a smaller one, but still a really nice little fridge for you to store some items that you may have. There's your TV. Up above, another mirror right there, and there's a light control for it. Again, does not require any kind of card. Turns on those lights. Ooh, there's just storage on the side there. That's very nice. That I had not seen before. More storage on this side. So you got two of these uh, extra little mini shelves here. That's really, really nice. Then more of the shelves go all the way down here. In the center cabinet, you know, with Disney, we get those postcards included. We have tissues here for uh, Royal Caribbean. So it's good to know there's a little bit of difference. There, there's your Voom internet speed and then we make our way to of course the piece that we're all looking forward to the balcony this is an ocean view veranda room locking door right there for the wind you never know oh that's loud and then you've got two chairs out here along with your table love that make sure you close your door behind you by the way i sometimes forget to do that two chairs and a table and an amazingly large balcony much more space than i was expecting here on royal caribbean so i'm gonna actually do a little feet measurement here with my feet below me one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half of Michael's feet. 12 feet, uh, my shoes are 12s. So eight and a half of those make your way around, which is really nice. And then you have these doors right here, which can open if you've got connecting parties. Super, super nice. Love that. Beautiful, beautiful room here. Royal Caribbean, Independence of the Sea. Stateroom 7604, uh, I believe. Okay, I am all ready to go. Got my nice Grogu lanyard on there. And I got a new uh, swim shirt here, which is gonna be great for the Wave Rider, which I'm looking forward to trying, Flow Rider. We're gonna try it now, see how long the line is, if not pool time. Lots of sunscreen already applied. Let's get out there and experience Royal Caribbean at Port Day. It's it's still Port Day, we have not let, left yet. Let's do it. As we're making our way towards the Flow Rider, you can actually look, click at these things here and see what you can do around the ship, different uh, compasses to get to different places. You can actually map, this is just one example. You can map to figure out, figure out where you're supposed to go. Take elevators to deck 14 and follow highlighted route to destination. So you actually find everything you need, right at these little screens that you can find all around near the elevator decks here on board. Walking by the promenade now, we are on deck seven, which I think is a really good deck for this. And we were able to just kind of walk around and enjoy as uh, as we're uh, experiencing the cruise ship. I'm very excited for Flow Rider. Okay, there's basically no line here. We're gonna try the Flow Rider. You ready? Let's do it.
absolutely incredible. Do you see us? We were actually doing pretty well. There were people wiping out like that. We were able to maintain and get through. I was actually sitting up. So cool. Might do that again. Might do a water slide. Very intense. You're going to sign a waiver and everything, but it is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to do the slide in a minute, but first, I want to tell you about this uh, shirt that I got. When I was at Juno Beach, I got this shirt. It's uh, I forgot the type of material, but it's this, I don't know, wet, dry material where it kind of whisks the water away from you. I can feel it's still wet, but it really is helpful when you, you know, you, I have sunscreen everywhere but my arms, chest, and back, right? So it really does help in that regard. I don't have to use as much sunscreen over my body. I don't have to worry about sunburning nearly as much. Now, obviously, you know, still the radiation, you know, whatever, but it's it's really, really nice. So they have different types of material that you can get, but the one, this one is really cool. I like it a lot. Here he goes on uh, the wave rider. You can see every skill level is doing. We're going to do it multiple times until we make it just right. It's it's not quite as easy as it looks. So I found out you can't bring the GoPro on these slides right here, but we're going to give them a try. And uh, I'll let you know all about them. After music is pumping, and there are more guests all around here. Really nice though. People standing up in that pool right there, having a good time. Yeah. Now, this is the difference between Disney and uh, Royal Caribbean. Here you can see towels that are unreturned have a $25 fee. So you've got to present your card and uh, return them. No fee if you return them, but otherwise $25 fee for each unreturned towel. Take a look. You can see it's uh, a little busy over here. There's a couple people in that hot tub there, but uh, yeah, it's a little busier than I thought it would be, but that's to be expected, I suppose. Let's uh, enjoy some of the sun here. The music you're hearing is indeed live, live band, right there, playing away. Love it. Now we're on the chocolate, great flavor there. We're going to find a hot spot and chill out for a little bit. Just relaxing here on, uh, I'm going to say deck 12, not sure, but you can see there's a crane right over there that's uh, working on something on the ship. It's actually... Interesting because we heard that rock climbing is closed right now because of whatever's happening right up there. Very interesting. A little last minute construction before we set sail. Now we're here, we're about to go back to the room. You can see floating, it's a casino right there that's actually making its way out of Port Canaveral right now. I had never seen a casino leave before. It's a floating casino. Very, very cool. Much smaller ship than the one we're on, but still cool to see. To give you an idea of the crowd levels right there, you can see there's uh, some people in the pool right now, making our way down. Right now, I'm lost on which deck I'm on. This is the adults only area right here. All right, back to the room we go now for changing and prepping for the next event, which is Sail Away. All changed, showered, and ready for Sail Away. It's not Sail Away, it's not Disney, it's a little different. It's 4.37 now, and that means that the Disney uh, ship should be leaving shortly, so we may see that one go, or we'll go first, one of the two. But it's gonna be great as we make our way back up towards the top of the ship. Check it out right here, we got this little balcony here looking at uh, Royal Promenade and more of the uh, deck four, th that's three, four, five, we're on seven. So yeah, that makes sense. We're we're up here. It's a really nice little balcony here. It's like, it's all this is. It's a little doorway with a balcony. Very, very cool. Almost dinner time. There is the Carnival Liberty pulling away right now. It's the first of the, at least the three of us to leave Port Canaveral. You can see it's making its way for an adventure. And we're going to start our adventure soon as well. Bye, Carnival Liberty. We're still right here. Disney Cruise Line right over there. Our lines are loose. Right there you can see lines are loose and the captain and the pilot and a couple other folks are staying there on the wing, ready to take us out to sea on my first ever Royal Caribbean cruise. The cruise horn just sounded. We are making our way. You can feel the ship rumbling. Disney, I think, is just untying their uh, mooring lines now, so we're probably gonna leave just prior. It's gonna be a magical adventure. Getting started right now. There's the sheriff pilot boat leading us out as we make our way into this channel, and we're making our way out to sea right now, slowly but surely. Our Royal Caribbean cruise is underway, and it feels truly, truly magical. So I found out that this is called the Victory Casino Cruise, where it's actually a five-hour cruise adventure, and you're just on a casino the whole time, like just that, that cruise ship, that boat is a casino. And my understanding is there are no rooms, five hour adventure, and you're in and out. Very, very interesting. Really uh, fascinating to see. I didn't realize they had them out here in Port Canaveral. I think I just saw a dolphin too. Let's see if it pops back up here. And there it is, Royal Caribbean's cruise making their way. Oh, you can hear that some of these cars are wishing us away. Look at that, you hit the horns, bye. I don't know what kind of RV park that is. It's very, very cool. See all those RVs kind of waving at us as we make our way by. He's blinking his lights at us, waving. I love it, bye, bye. Wish you were here with us. 
Bye. Amazing way to launch off our cruise here. Yeah. Royal Caribbean. Love it, love it. First few minutes here are absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and start experiencing more of the cruise. We got dinner tonight coming up in 10 minutes. Time for dinner. Now, as we're making our way towards dinner, which I know is back that way, we can actually see the Disney dream leaving Port Canaveral right now. Beautiful sunset today, gorgeous day. I'm ready for a spectacular cruise. Waiting for the Disney dream, we'll be back on board before you know it. But awesome to see it from this perspective too. Wow, here we are in the main dining room. This is where we will eat all of our meals, right here on the Royal Caribbean. Independence of the Seas, look at this. Beautiful chandelier, the white tables. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous dining room. Wow. Oh, I am excited. It's going to be a truly magical meal this time. We got starters, we've got soups, we've got the main course, desserts all included, and I'm not sure which drinks are included with Royal Caribbean, but we're gonna find out together. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous table setting and very nice service. How are you, Rodrigo? First bite is white bread with the cheese on top. Delicious, delicious bread to get it started. We've got some great recommendations from Rodrigo here to, um, to decide for for dinner. He recommended the Maryland crab cake. That sounds absolutely incredible. I'm going to get that one. He also recommended some of these. I think it might be the steak and maybe the salmon. I, I'm very deba debating on that one. He re did recommend the cobbler. He told us it's amazing. He told us it's amazing, but the a apple uh, blossom a la mode sounds even better. So that might that might win. So we'll see. All looks really good. We're going to try some. As you know what we think, it's going to be an amazing dinner. I can already tell. We've got some delicious food coming, but I did want to mention something. The onboard chat function is not available included with your uh, reservation. So it's important to know if you're traveling with friends, uh, you would need to purchase 199 a day in order to chat with them throughout the cruise. Just an important note and a difference between Royal and Disney. Starting our dinner experience off with that delicious looking crab cake. You know I'm a Marylander, I've gotta test that crab first and let you know what I think. You ready? Let's give it a try. Finishing up the crab cake here, it's okay. It's nothing amazing, nothing to go out of my way for. Yeah, I've had better crab cake for sure. Good start, but not amazing. We got more food to go though. We also got another appetizer, the um, shrimp cocktail, which sounds really good. Here is the shrimp cocktail. This is a very unique looking dish right here, but it's another a starter that we wanted to try. See, it's the shrimp that's kind of in there. It looks like there's four pieces of shrimp and that sauce right there. Give it a try together, I'll let you know. Delicious shrimp cocktail. Great flavor to the shrimp there. I, I am impressed by the shrimp cocktail for sure. Uh, cocktail sauce, equally delicious, not too, too spicy but really, really good. The flavor of the shrimp, though, is outstandingly good. Outstandingly good. From the first night of Royal Caribbean's cruise, share in the magic of my very kind server, Rodrigo. Thank you, Rodrigo, also Aww. brought me. Yeah, it looks so good, the salmon as well. Very excited to try them both. That's super kind of them. Got two different entrees here. Let's dig in, I'll let you know. Uh, the steak is, is unique. We're gonna get back to that in a second, but here is the salmon. Salmon's okay, a little bit on the dry side, not quite as flavorful as I was expecting for a salmon. The sauce on the side uh, with a little bit of mashed potatoes is probably the best part. You dip it in there with it, it, you know, the flavor from the salmon itself is really lacking. And the breading on top is way too dry and way too grainy, in my opinion. Let's get back to the steak here. You know me, I love my steak. And this strip steak is not a filet. It's not meant to be a filet. I do know the difference, but it is not quite as tender even for a strip steak that I was expecting. Uh, and the flavor is not quite there. The butter is just really pulls all the steak flavor out of it. Uh, not bad, but not great. Nothing out of the things here we tried today or I'd go out of my way for. And the potato is just uh, very dry. Not my all time favorite. So food's okay. Not amazing. Not blown away yet. More food to go. Desserts I'm looking forward to. Um, but yeah, that's uh, not bad, not great. Here's the apple a la mode, my dessert here. A little smaller than I was expecting, but it does look super, super good. Looking forward to trying it, let you know what I think. The brownie with ice cream and chocolate sauce, I love it. That's our specialty chocolate brought to us by our server, love it. Really enjoyed that apple pie, it was delicious. I think of all the things we had for dinner today, this was my favorite by far. The uh, specialty brownie ice cream chocolate super thing that he brought, also really good. Ask for that if you have Rodrigo. They'll probably be able to make it for you no matter who it is. But yeah, really, really good spot. The apple is definitely the best to get, in my opinion. Absolute best. Highly recommend it. Best thing I think I've tried so far on this cruise ship. That's how good it is. Overall thoughts on the very first dinner here on Independence of the Seas. Not bad, not bad, not great. Nothing I'd go out of my way for. The apple a la mode was definitely worth it. Get that one 100%. Uh, I was told the menu tomorrow is even better by our very kind server Rodrigo, so we will see about that. Uh, head back to the room now, gonna enjoy the balcony for a few minutes and then probably check out more of the ship, maybe the casino. We had a nice show tonight to see. Lots to experience. 
Smiles all around. Back in the room now, and I'm getting changed, getting ready to walk out and about, and you can see they left us this really nice paperwork cruise compass for tomorrow, taking us uh, at a look at what it's going to be like tomorrow. 74 degrees, love that. Dress your, bre your best is the dress code for tomorrow. So I'm guessing that's formal night. That'll be cool. Dining information, daily highlights, top deals. Again, Royal, got to tell you, I love the cruise planner, cruise compass. I know it just takes like 10 seconds. Well worth it. Perfect day, Coco Key. Got a map here I've never been before, and I'm really excited. Really, really excited to experience it. We don't have any special activities. We're just going to explore, but it's going to be so, so much fun. We also have this Welcome Back to Adventure. We talk about how we're some of the very first to set sail with them. Very, very excited. Looking forward to sharing it with you. That all is tomorrow. All changed and out and about today. I'm thinking about checking out the casino because we've got uh, just under two hours for our special ice show tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. And uh, yeah, more the promenade for sure. I'm, I'm very excited about the promenade. Inside one of the stores here on the Independence of the Seas, they've got all sorts of good stuff from these uh, shot glasses, tumblers. Not sure what this is. Is this part of that magic key? Nope, it's just a little floater for your keychain. And then of course, luggage tag visor bag here made of vegan leather and then you got this uh, independence of the seas jacket here i don't know we might need some kind of memorable item from our cruise adventure we'll see they've got more mugs here and of course that royal caribbean captain hat i love that one. Ooh, you got a little ship a little mini ship here 45 dollars for that guy maybe we'll start collecting them for each uh, cruise ship we go on. Here's the Royal Promenade again. There are a lot more guests here with us, but not that many, not that many at all. A little soda dispenser on our left area for seating right there. Here's our forward shopping desk. That's great to see. There's Casino Royale right over here. Might check that out. Inside the Michael Kors store, and you can see you get these inch of gold necklaces here that you just kind of tell them how much you want. And they're custom made just for you, these custom chains. Very, very nice, a lot of different styles here. Of course, a lot of purses and bags as well, and other jewelry. Here's Casino Royale on board. Now we're going in, and you can see, I know we saw it earlier, but now we're seeing it again. This time it's much more active, as a lot of the games are available here. The cashier is over there, so you can uh, cash in. Great adventures in the casino. Table games, very cool. I tried some of the slot machines, lost like six bucks. Goes to the cruise, totally get it. As long as you know how to just have fun with it. I did, it was fun. And uh, now we're back on the promenade, looking for a drink of lemonade. And that lemonade iced tea are included, by the way. And um, then we got the ice show later. Now, as I mentioned earlier, lemonade and iced tea are included. No drink package needed. Just everyone, lemonade and unsweetened iced tea. Michael's secret, put two sweetened lows in there. You got a great iced tea. Uh, also, hot tea. For those who love hot teas just as much as I do, totally included. Included with your Royal Caribbean Cruise hot tea all day. And you can walk around with these mugs. I double check. I'm pretty, I can just put it anywhere when I'm done, you know, cafeteria-wise. Uh, and, and that'll be it. Really nice, love the service. They are closing the pool uh, right now, I'm guessing because it's just late at night. But this is the adults only area we're walking back through. Ooh, the hot tub's still open though. That's nice, hot tub's still open. You can see it right there. There are four guests in that hot tub. And it looks like a similar number, ooh, it's flashing lights there in the, uh, in the other one. So, not 100% sure. But uh, closed main pool, it's a little cold for it. Here inside Windjammer, check out some of the dinner items they have here. They have chocolate mousse. I want to try that. In appropriate cruise fashion, we've got some extra desserts here from Windjammers. This is a very special chocolate mousse. Looks really good. Also, we've got the orange key lime mousse here. Looks absolutely spectacular. We're going to try them both, let you know what I think. Got to be honest with you, neither of these were really great. The orange key lime is a hard pass. Do not get that one. The um, the chocolate mousse is okay. It's not great. Not great. Um, yeah, it's, it's only okay. There's a ramen station here for dinner that I would definitely would want to try at some point. That sounds really good. Um, but I don't want to miss any of our dinners. See, it's the problem. We have early dinner though, so maybe we'll do like secondsies. We'll see. Get some uh, get some more food. Now showing ship movement is notoriously difficult, but with this old jello here, it's a little easier for me to show you. Ship's moving a little bit more back here at the uh, back of the ship when you're wind jammers. A little bit of movement there. You can see in my T, same thing, a little bit of movement. We can feel it shaking back here just a bit, even though we're on one of the higher decks. Just want to note that. Also, they uh, have these cards here, which are put on the table so that we know when they've been cleaned. So when we're done, we flip it over and uh, they know that it's time for it to be cleaned for the next set of guys. Checking out some of the Royal Caribbean merch here again. This is a different store now, so it's, it's different merchandise. We're seeing similar, but wait, what's this like rain jacket one? This is really nice. Royal Caribbean right there. This one's $100 for that jacket. Some of these are a little less. $59 for that one. Right there where that comma makes it look like $59,000. I didn't do that. 
Independence of the Seas, right here. Love that. And it cost $29 for that hat. I got a, some kind of memento from this cruise. I thought well, I was on a royal cruise, not a Disney cruise. Check out these Javianas, $20 for these Disney uh, Minnie Mouse Javiana sandals. Not just that, we've also got Elsa with her powers. Are there another pair of these kids' sandals? They have on board Royal Caribbean. Ariel down there too, wow. A lot of Disney on board. A lot of watches here in the uh, jewelry section. They got a lot of Citizen. Some of these are 35% off, 25% off. A lot of great options they have here. I'm seeing, uh, wow, so many different watches. Again, the issue is I got that Apple Watch. I love the Apple Watch. Do I really want a watch? Look at a pocket watch. There you go, now we're talking. Look at this, 50% off, but what's the original price? Tough to know. Gotta tell you, the music on board, this ship, and probably all Royal ships, is awesome. They're playing tons of like 80s and 70s and disco, and it's just my kind of music, and I love it. Here we are at Studio B now at the ice rink where we have reservations to see this great ice show. Starts in just about 20 minutes. Looking forward to it. Haven't seen this before. We get to skate on the ice in two days. You can see the ice looks super smooth. They're ready for a fantastic show. Just heard that you can record the show. It's gonna be great. And just like that, our first day has come to an end. Thanks so much for sharing in the magic with me. I hope you had fun. We've got a full day of Coco Key tomorrow, which is going to be, I'm sure, absolutely incredible. Can't wait to share the entire adventure with you. Perfect day, Coco Key tomorrow. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for sharing it with me. It means a lot to be able to share it all with you. Huge thank you to our patrons for making it all possible. And until next time, have a magical day. We'll see you real soon.